Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today's video is a very exciting one, I think anyway. It's going to be my entire colouring book collection as of the 12th of October. It is my birthday in like two days on the 14th. So, well, as I'm filming this, it's my birthday on the 14th of October. So I will be adding more books, but they will be in an upcoming haul. So this video is just going to contain all of my books that are with us right now, uh, excluding any new ones. So any new ones that are purchased in the future will be coming up in hauls. So then you'll know that they are added to the collection. But I did want to film this, like I have wanted to film this video for ages. So I just wanted to sit down and film it. It's like 20 to 6 in the morning and I've been up all night and I've just got a sudden urge to film. So let's do it. So I have around 53, 50 something books, 53, 54 books um, and I'm going to start off with my Hannah Lynn collection. I have five colouring books and then I have one PDF. So let's just get started anyway. So I'm not going to show you every single finished page as well because I'm going to do separate videos on the different artists and all the finished pages that I've done. So those will be coming up in however many parts. That's it. I just wanted to show you my collection just so you can request colour and chats or request whatever. Or if you want a buddy colour in any of the books just so you all know what I have. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because this video might be a little bit long. Well, I'm going to continue rambling just about the books. Anyway, just let's continue. So this is Whimsy Girls at Work by Hannah Lynn. I'll just give you a quick flip through. I have done quite a few in this actually because this was one of the first books that I basically got. So I have done quite a few and there is a few in here that I need to, that I need to finish. But I think that you might have just seen like what my colouring style was like at the very beginning and what tools that I had. Um, but I will again do a video showing you all the finished pages. So I do have Whimsy Girls at Work. Next I have Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. Again by Hannah Lynn. I've done quite a few in this as well because this was around about... Like, but this was my second Hannah Lynn book but it was around about like this fourth or fifth book that I got so I got this around Christmas time last year maybe before that so as you can see that's the 12th I don't know I'm just gonna give you if like a little flip through I'm pretty sure that I got this around Christmas time last year like around November December but I really really like this book this is my favorite Hannah Lynn book that I have um, I really like it. Next I have Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions and again just a quick flip through just in case you want to see some of the pages. I haven't done that many in this one because I only got this can't remember exactly but I only got this this year. Doing this I was just doing this and nothing was flipping. I got this this year so I haven't done as many pages and I've got like loads of other books. I've accumulated quite a few books this year but I have done a few pages in it. So that's Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions. I'm trying to put them back on the shelf as we'll go just so I don't make too much of a mess. Next book is The Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. Again by Hannah Lynn. So I haven't done much in this one either but they are all so pretty like doing flip throughs and stuff and just looking at all my books is like so nice but it's like it also reminds you like how many pages you want to colour and there's just like so much to colour in so little time not that I have a lot to do with my time like I'm not extremely busy but still even if you had all the time in the world there's not enough hours in the day i haven't done much in this book i think i've only done the two that you've just seen so like as i say there's not enough time in the world to color every picture that you want to color so the last coloring book that i have from 
Hannah Lynn. I have one more, but it's in PDF form, so I'll show you that in a second. Is the Victorian Darlings colouring book. And I think I've only done two in this one as well. The pictures are so pretty that I really want to do more. I need to get the Hannah Lynn books out more often, but again, I'm just I'm getting to the point where like I don't know what to colour. And Carla Magana has been me my like favourite thing to colour lately. But as you can see, like I love I just love these pages and I need to to do more. So I only got these two like a few months ago as well, so I haven't done that much in these ones, but I do need to break them out a little bit more. I'm probably going to say that with every single colouring book. So next I'm going to show you the Enchanted Halloween. <laughs> if you can hear me brother snoring like everyone else is asleep. And I'm the only one awake as usual. The next book that I have by Hannah Lynn is the Enchanted Halloween. This doesn't have like a coloured cover like the other ones because it is in PDF form. I just got this one like last week and I've done two pages in it already. I just finished that one tonight. Um, so I'll just do like a quick, a quick flip. I really like this one. It's really cute and I do want to colour some more in this book, especially in this month for Halloween. So just like, I don't want to like flip through every page on every book because it's going to be like forever. That didn't make much sense. It's going to take us forever, I should say. Oh, I like that one. I do like Hannah Lynn's style a lot. So you can have a sneak peek of things that I've, I have done, but again, I'm going to do a separate video and I probably would have coloured more more items by the time I probably would have coloured more pictures by the time I do that video so that's all of me Hannah Lynn colouring books so far next I'm going to go to some like older colouring books or colouring books that I only have one from like the brand or the the company so I have this book Modern Fee by The Colouring Hive and it's illustrated by Melissa Labra. And this is a very cute book. I still <laughs> That's off like the scavenger hunt thing ages ago. So this has some really cute um cute pictures in it. I really like that one. I need to colour in this again. I have coloured a few in this but uh, I really like it and I especially like how it tells you like which image it is and then it gives you like colouring notes and that I really wanted to do that one in the summer and I completely forgot it would actually be cool to do like a, a random sort of shot my stash where you put in however many colour colouring books you've got in it and, and then like select a certain few randomly so you can like so you have to work on only them i might do that at least like for as as an experiment so let us know if that will be something you'll be interested in so again modern fear by the color and hive and melissa labra next is a big fantasy coloring book in grayscale 100 illustrations to color this is by Molly Harrison and I only have one book by Molly Harrison but I have done quite a few in this book but her images, like the images in this book especially are just so gorgeous. Again I'm going to say this with every single thing but there's so many beautiful colouring books and it's just again it's just so hard to choose which one you want to do. But I definitely, definitely want to colour more in this. Maybe I might break this out this month and at least do one. Me mum actually coloured this one ages ago. She doesn't like it, but I won't let her rip it out. 
they're just so pretty so that's it. as you can see those are a few that I have actually coloured So that's that one. Then I have this Fiercely Gorgeous by Evelyn Liza. I know it looks very similar to the ones that Demita Victoria does. So I don't know if it's like the same company or like a sister company or whatever. So this is Grayscale um, Adult Colouring Book. And it's just basically loads of women. It does have duplicates, so it's kind of like Jade Summer. The Hannah Lynn one, um, the Hannah Lynn ones do have duplicates as well. And our older books are like, have the same image, so just two of the same image. But the newer ones tend to have like a more detailed one and then a less detailed one, which I forgot to show you. And then the last book that I have from like a single single artist or single brand is the Creative Haven Home Sweet Home colouring book. And this one, initially I really like it, but then I find like when I try to colour them, it, I struggle a little bit to try and come up with what I want to do with them. But I do really like the images and I will definitely colour in it again some, at some point. I will definitely colour in it again at some point. I shouldn't have filmed this when I was so like sleep deprived. <laughs> but that's one that I did. I did that on a holiday when we went to the um, caravan. But like there is some lovely, lovely images in here and... I've only done two but again I want to colour more. So next I have two books from April Amber and all my books just fell on the bookshelf which I didn't want them to do but it's okay we'll sort it out in a minute. So I have two from April Amber. I have Chibi Girls Unicorn and Chibi Girls Halloween which I'm definitely going to be breaking this one out very soon. There's just like so many books I want to colour in this month so I'm hoping that I have time. So we'll start with April Amber Chibi Girls Unicorn and I'll just again give you a quick flip through. I have done a few, I think I've done two completed pages in this and like I'm showing you the back when me completed pages are in the front because you know like it has the half and half duplicates. So it has so many cute cute pictures so that's one that I finished and um, that's one that I finished and there is one in here where I've done the marker work but I need to do the gel pen work but if we can there it is so so cute then we'll have the April Amber Chibi Girls Halloween I think I've only done two in here but like one is not like a whole picture so I'll just um flip from like the first half so I've done two in here but one isn't like a full picture, it was like the beginning which I'll show you in a second but this, I really like that one. This has got like so many cute images. This is the picture that I was looking for and I didn't know which book it was in but I really want to do that one. As well this month hopefully, this just as I say, is, as I said there's just so many pictures that I want to colour. And oh, um. I keep saying August, October is not long enough but this is one that I did so as you can see like this was done in July so I do colour them like out of Halloween season but it just seems more fitting to the October month to colour in Halloween books it definitely has some beautiful pages And at some point I'm going to have to stop buying books. So this is like the first one that I did, just like the sort of title page. 
at some point I'm gonna have to stop for buying books and like colouring the ones that I have because my aim is to colour at least one page in every book that I have and if I keep on buying them book like and if I keep on buying so many books then that's not gonna be possible is it? So next I have a seven books from a Jade Summer. First is the Mermaid's Grey Scale. So again just flip through the first half. I think I've done three in this. Oh, I've done two or three. It might actually be two, but again, some of the images aren't my favourite, but I still like a lot of them. Like, I don't really like colouring men for some reason. Like, that one that the pirate was just on. If I can find it again. I don't know, like, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of colouring men. And I don't know why. I usually like to colour females more than males. So some of them pictures do like cut us off a little bit but I will give it a go at some point. So that's mermaids. Then we have fairies by Jade Summer obviously. And um, this is the grayscale version as well. I never noticed that actually like half of it's white and half of like this is more grey for the black background even though this part of that has the white on it still has a black background the second half but just has more white on the co on like the edge the corner the edge chelsea but anyway so i have done a few in this one like the images are so cute and again i want to call out all of them and it's not going to be possible if i don't stop the buying but there's just like there's so many beautiful books on like on this earth like so many beautiful colouring books that has been created and it's hard to not want them all you know and I have a cute witches by Jade Summer. So this is some of the images. I just realised I haven't even been checking the screen. So I don't know if you are actually in the frame. Hopefully everything was. I know you are now, but that's one I just recently did. So that'll be coming in the October finished pages. I did that one last month. So I've done like three in this one but I do have a few upcoming body colours as well in this one so there will be more getting coloured in that. Next I have Kawaii Horror, the flip through from back to front from the first half. I've done a few in this one as well and I really like this book. I need to colour at least one more in this this month well hopefully I get round to it another book that's Halloween themed that I haven't even coloured in this month yet either and I haven't coloured a lot in in general is Vampires 2 this is not grayscale because at the time of buying it I couldn't find the grayscale version so this has a lot of beautiful images in as well Jade Summer has a lot of books. Like, I'm not so fond of kind of these ones, but I do like the ladies. Like, again, I don't think I'd be in a hurry to... What are the pages doing? I don't think I'd be in a hurry to colour him because, as I've just said, I'm not really that much of a fan of colouring male characters. Don't know why. Again, I'm not really into him one I've done so there is that one next I have a chibi Christmas this is a grayscale version I have only coloured one page out of this book because I only got it a few months ago and I will be colouring more in it when it comes to Christmas 
I haven't even been showing you the pictures properly, have I, because of the light. But again, so many gorgeous, cute. That's the only one I've done in here. And I did that for Christmas in July. Chibi girls are just so cute in general, aren't they? So that is that one. I'm trying not to like ramble on about each book for too long. So this is Jade Summer Kawaii Christmas and this is the last Jade Summer book that I've got. I think I bought it in December for Christmas. So I did, I had considerably less um, books then. So I have done quite a few in here. I love this one. This is like my favourite picture ever. It's just me vibes it just makes us feel so cozy and i loved coloring it in so as i say this was my only christmas book like that i had last year so i did color quite a few images in it and i'm pretty happy with how they all came out next i have christine karen and i have one two three four five of christine karen's books christine karen is again one of my favorites so we'll just get on into the ones that i've got and i'll probably be showing you them in reverse order because this is very in fantasy three grayscale coloring book this is a newest one and i've only done i think i want to say two pages in here Although I want to do so many more. I might have done three. I think I've done three actually. But Christine's work is just amazing. Yeah, I've done three. Three pages. Then I have a Fairy and Fantasy 2 grayscale colouring book. And I have done a few in here actually. Because again, I got this when I had a few less colouring books than I currently have. So I was able to do more in this book. And I definitely want to come back to this book, but it's just like so many choices as i've said because i'm probably thinking well no you've just said that chelsea but let's show you this one first because this is the first fairy and fantasy coloring book this is the first one that got us on it um christine karen because i saw it on my friend andrea's channel um andrea she used to be andrea color and dragons but now she's changed her name to glitter and color i will link um here down below and I saw these on her channel and I just fell in love with this image in particular. But the thing is, I got this at, at like the beginning of my journey. The books keep falling. I got this at more of like the beginning of my colouring journey. And now I would do a few of the pictures a little bit differently. So I might buy some like individual pages that I want to recolour in i did rip one out as you can see like <laughs> this sort of hair because i tried to do one in markers and i did not like the way it turned out so i ripped it out in a temper and then it left this stain to remind us like you shouldn't rip things out so i couldn't complete this book fully but it still has gorgeous pictures like this is one like i would color it so differently now but i uh, like i am still in love with it like i still love it a lot but I do want to like try and buy this image individually and try and like copy more of this colour. Colour in like, copy more of this colour scheme or like this image. But I still like this image but I do regret doing the skin as dark as I did compared to the night sky. I like the night sky but I wish I did a skin a little bit lighter. Like now saying all of the ways other people have coloured and everything I've learned about colouring so far. Um, so yeah, I'm going to buy that page individually and just print it out. So that's Fairy and Fantasy. Next I have a Mermaids. It's just called Mermaids Colouring Book. 
and this is just a line art this is really pretty this is definitely more of the amazon printed paper um the other books are more the paper's more smooth so i like to use markers in this particular book and i've done two images in this i think and they are really pretty so i do think that this is one of our more earlier books but i got it because i do like mermaids and i do like christine karen so why would i not want it but i think i've just like skipped over a few pages it's very very pretty and then the last book i have from christine karen is fairies 2 I have done a few in here as well. He definitely reminds us of Tarzan or like Jason Momoa, but definitely more Tarzan. So I've done a few in here. Like our books are just so pretty. I love that one. And I definitely want to pick up the other books that she has even just to look at the images even if i couldn't get around to colouring all of them just even looking at the images are just so stunning so next i have two books from this lady daria um this is how you this is her last name but i don't know how to say it so i don't really want to um because i don't want to butcher anyone's name but i know she also goes by daria draws so these have not been coloured in yet but I definitely want to colour in them because they're so so beautiful and she's got a very similar style of Christine Karen and Emma Colours 2020 um recommended is to like take a look at her books because I liked Christine Karen so I have Colour and Beauty's Gorgeous Fantasy Grayscale Colouring Book and the images in this like how people draw like this is like insane like look at that try and show you properly that was not a good angle chelsea like i'm just hoping that i can do these images justice because the grayscale is darker than what i'm used to but that one is so pretty It's definitely well named. Gorgeous fantasy. And then the second one I have from this lady, Daria, I'm just going to say her first name, is Colour and Chicks Grayscale Colouring Book. And I do want a newest one that just brought out, like the, I think it's like from Halloween to Christmas or something, so I do want to get that for my birthday in a few days' time. And again, just absolutely stunning. So I am excited to get me hand that one. Like gorgeous. You can definitely like I can definitely see that in some red and black and some silver or gold. The Queen of Hearts. I don't know if I'll get round to colouring in it this month because i want to do more halloween like this other books that i want to color in but definitely be coloring in this book if not this month next month because i want to try and get like as i said want to try and color at least one page in each of my books so next actually i have a single book from a brand um which i should have put in earlier but never mind this is the White Stag Art Misfits Volume 4 or number 4 and I want to get more of these because these books I just love how it says a fairy colouring book for adults and odd children and I feel like I'm an adult and an odd child at the same time. Is the lighting going really funny here because I hope not. Anyway yeah I do feel like an adult like I'm supposed to be an adult but I'm really an odd child. 
so I have done a few in this book again I really like that one I just did this one recently it's definitely like something that I would like like the pictures definitely call to me and they're just so pretty to even look at And I definitely need to colour in this more. And I need to get all of them because there's like loads of them. But I think I'm going to start with the first few and then we'll go from there. So next up is my absolute current obsession. The artist, the person, the colouring books. Like just the whole vibe of Carla Magana is my current obsession. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got 10 of Carla's books and I also have some of our Patreon pages but I'm not going to share them in this video because they're not really a colouring book it's just singular pages but I am going to be purchasing the last two two of her books that I need to complete my collection um, in PDF form in a few days or maybe tomorrow it's actually tomorrow I'm going to get them so they will be joining the collection so the ones that I actually need is Fashion Circus and I always forget the name of the other one. So first I have the Macarons Sketchbook. This is like a smaller one and this was when Carla was having a um, tendonitis flare up and she was just sketching. So this is just the book that she put together from that and I think I've only done two in here as well. There's a lot of pages in here. And they are, although they are like quite simple and smaller, like I don't know, I just, I don't know what to do with them sometimes, but like once you start putting the first colour down like the the creativity and the inspiration just comes to you. So I need to colour more in all of my books. I'm going to stop saying it because I need to colour in more in all of my books. Uh, I just did this one with like Scriblicious gel pens just as a, a ugly colour combination experiment like random things that I wanted to use up and I thought like this was the perfect book for that. So next I have Eerie Patisserie and I have not coloured in this yet. I know it's a tragedy but I really need to soon because as I say colour is my current obsession and I need to at least do one picture in all of her books by the end of this month is me goal anyway I know I don't need to do anything but it is me goal because look at all of these gorgeous pictures like stunning and I know that I will definitely have a fun time in this book but I know that I'm gonna have to have like a cake or a cookie like on hand because colouring all these like sweet treats will make me hungry or at least make us want something sweet next I have our newest book um Belle Pipistrel sorry if the lighting's weird I don't know what it's doing but this is Belle Pipistrel and I've done quite a few in this book this is a book that I actually do want to complete at some point because I have done quite a few pages in it and it's like probably one of my favourites of her books so far. That's the one I'm currently working on as a buddy colour. I just keep skipping over loads of them. So that's Belle Pipistrel. Then I have Desert Muse. I haven't coloured in this one either. I know. I know that I need to because like they're just all gorgeous. That one is amazing. Like Carla's work is just so quirky and just so fun. And like even watching our videos while you're colouring our pages. It's just the best time and you can just tell that this one is based on her. She's 
She does live in Palm Springs, so she lives in the desert. She calls herself the Desert Vampire. Next, I have Spooklet Volume 1. I've done a few in here as well, actually. I want to do that one so bad this month, so I need to. But I want to try and get the buddy colours that I've got currently done. Or, like, at least some of them done before I start doing new pages. And I need to stop saying yes to buddy colours because I just end up with loads and then... I feel like I don't have time to do the pages that I want and that is not what I want but also like I love doing body colours so but the thing is Carla's pages don't take long at all either so they're just like so fun and they're sort of quick and they're just fabulous next I have a spooky sweet So I love how she does some like of the girl characters and then she adds some pages in that are not like female in case you don't like colouring people. But as you see there's a lot of sweets in this one that's why it's called Spooky Sweet. I have done a few in here that are going to be spoilers for October's end of the month like completed pages and they're all um buddy colours with mini rage so that's what I've done in there and that is that Ooh. next I have a retro deco I think I've only done two pages in this one as well and again it just gives off the vibe that she intended really retro like just absolute like if you completed this book it would just be like a glory. Like I would love to complete all of Carla's books. Because I just think flipping through them would be glorious. Like obviously it's glorious just flipping through them as line art. But with them all coloured in there's just like. There's just like a certain euphoria. That I get from like seeing that the pages coloured. And like the way Carla colours them, it's just like amazing. Next I have Hot Tropics, which I sadly have not coloured in yet either. She has a very voluptuous bottom. You can definitely tell that that is like inspired by Carla herself. The all got very voluptuous bottoms. I've got a lot of junk in the trunk, it's just not very um, round and voluptuous like these. But yeah, this one is like, I just want to colour every page. And they're just, it's so nice. Next I have Dark Garden, which again has not been coloured in yet. This is all about like toxic um, plants and I've seen a few of these coloured in especially on Carla's channel and as I say like they look beautiful in line art but when, when they're coloured in like her pictures they just can't look bad in my opinion everybody everyone from like every picture that I've seen from everyone that's coloured it, they just look all amazing. So Dark Garden, that's probably one of my favourites and I don't know why I haven't coloured it yet. But you need to get yourself to cover shelves. Next is Stardust Space Lust, which I have coloured a few in. So there's that one. That's going to be a spoiler for the end of the month completed pages, but I don't mind spoiling it for you. It's all on my Instagram anyway. As you can tell by the name and the contents within, it is space themed. And I just love how, I just love how she draws things and 
I just absolutely love our books if you couldn't tell already so yeah I was just flipping back through some of the images in case you missed them so this video is going to probably be quite long because filming this I'm at 51 minutes already and I've still got quite a few books to go but I do want to get it done in one sitting and if you don't like long videos you're probably already tuned out by now so if you do like long videos then this is for you so. anyway I've got two from Lulu Mayo a million unicorns and a million mermaids so I just try and quickly flip through it a little bit a little bit quicker than I have been So I won't say much <laughs> about these two and just flip through them. So again, Million Mermaids. These books are so cute and that's all I will say. I just need to tell you what the book is, do a little flip through and be done with it. And you can see with your own eyes which pages I have coloured or started to colour in that case. Next I have a two by Rhea Berman. I have this Europe one and the main summer spice gang. I think it's my summer walk and I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I don't speak German so I have no idea. But just again won't say much just do a flip through because some of you are probably saying where well, you just shut up and show with the books like even if i don't get a color in half of these images like just even looking at them just it makes me eyes happy and even in my current state of numbness it sparks a tiny bit of electricity in my heart you know and it, this is a work in progress as you can see I haven't completely finished a page in this as of yet this is actually a book that was supposed to be for my birthday but my sister gave me money early so I just got it early then this is main summer main summer spicer gang I've done a few pages in here. Rita Berman actually shared this one on our story and I was really happy about it. Just gives you a sense of achievement, doesn't it? So that's that one next i have four books from hannah Kaza. you just can't see the other three under this one so first is a jewelry box which i haven't colored in yet and this book's really pretty as well i feel like with hannah Kaza on books a lot of them tend to look very similar so that's why I didn't bother getting like all of our older ones but I have bought our three newest ones which we'll show you in a minute which I will show you in a minute I should say but Hannah's books do like Hannah Carzon books do give us like a an antique like oldish vibe which I really, really like. Then I have a Tales from the Forest Kingdom, which was also off me sister for my birthday, but I got it early, as I just said. And this one is so pretty. And I felt like these, like, definitely unicorns. Love unicorns. 
like i feel like these ones are actually different from our other books so that's why i picked them all up excuse me can you stop like flipping through everything so that's the one i'm currently working on in this book and that's the first one i'm coloring because i only got this like a few weeks ago or a week or two ago next is tales from the midnight masquerade i've done one picture in here as well i think as long as i get at least one picture done in all of my books i feel like it'll satisfy me me like wastefulness um that main trap that i get myself in like you've got all these books that you haven't colored in so if i just color at least one page in each book then i'll feel like i've i've achieved something so this is the only one that i've done in this book next i have this one it's something something witch's cottage i don't know if it's tales from the witch witch's cottage or welcome to the witch's cottage as this one is not in english but this one is just so pretty and i had to get it this is probably my favorite one so far this one in tales from the um forest kingdom are the, of all my favorite ones that i've seen from hannah calls on so far and to be honest i don't think i need any of the other books because i just feel like they all look quite similar i love that one i need to do that one i'm just i want to use pencils in this book um as, a, as well with my gel pens and i'm just not feeling the pencils at the current moment but i have done this name a page we're nearly at the end people we're nearly at the end if you are still here then you have no idea how much i appreciate you if you are still here leave us a purple heart you know amazing if you are still here a lot of people probably have gone home so next i have three maria trolley books first i have luna which is my favorite one that i have from here i have done a few a few pictures in here but i still again there's just so many gorgeous pages to color and not enough time or energy I made a right mess of the back of that page and I have to figure out how to fix that for an upcoming body colour. This is one of my favourite pictures I've ever, ever coloured. It's just my colours and it's gorgeous. So that's Luna. Next I have Nightfall. It's easier to just flip from back to front. This one is so pretty. I haven't coloured anything in this yet either. So there's a lot of books that I need to colour in or at least one page in. Like who? She just like looks like Mother Nature. I don't know what Mother Nature looks like, but if I pictured Mother Nature, she would look like who? Don't know why. Just reminds us of that. I love like the super long hair, and I love this little house. 
and I do have an upcoming body colour in this book so I will at least do one page well this is the upcoming body colour so technically it would be two pages I love this page so that is a nightfall next I have a twilight garden And again, I haven't coloured anything in this. I was kind of gifted these two books by a lovely lady on Instagram and a subscriber, I think. And she asked us if I would like these books because she wasn't using them and she wanted to like declutter them. So I happily obliged and said, of course, I thank you so much. And... She knows who she is, so thank you again. If you're watching, I should say. So that is that one. So next I have three books from Johanna Basford. First one is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and I have a lot of these purple tabs because me and Mandy Niffin on Instagram are going to work our way through this and this is the pages I have to do without that so you can see those on the way along and this is also a storybook as well as a colouring book and I have actually read the story and it's pretty good. So Rebecca, if you're watching, this is the last book I read. <laughs> As you can see, there are many words. <laughs> I love this one. The ones that I have done, I really like in this book, but I definitely need to catch up to Mandy. But it does give you that incentive if like you're doing it with somebody else and it's probably going to take a long long time to finish it but we'll get there in the end i love this one as well like as i say i've just got so many books that i want to work on and trying to finish one is like a hard task so that is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Then I have Worlds of Wonder, which is the first Johanna Basford book I got. The first one that piqued me interest because when I first started my colouring journey, Johanna Basford really, really like um what's it intimidated is it really wasn't the thing that I thought I wanted to colour but as I progressed and as me as me like sort of taste changed and like I was going to say enveloped that's not the right word what's the word evolved as me style as me style evolved or me taste evolved I should say I definitely got into her work more and like Maria Trolley and stuff like that and I have done quite a few pages in this book, as you can see. Hopefully. I love this little house. I want this to be my house. Definitely me colours. It's just like so nice and cosy. And this is definitely one of my favourite books. It's the favourite book that I have from Johanna Basford. So that is Worlds of Wonder. Then the last one I have from Johanna Basford is A Secret Garden. And I've done one page in here because to be honest, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It has more like, um, it has quite a few like drawing prompts. This is the only one I've done in here. It has like more drawing prompts, but this one is an upcoming body color with Rachel 
from pricey colors so i hope to do that one like it has a lot of like drawing prompts and that's not what i thought it was but it's still a beautiful book for the pictures that it is and i don't even think that i was properly showing you so sorry about that this picture is gorgeous like all that in gel pens is going to be a fun time like i know the coloring books and i know like oh i want to color them and i want to color them so much and like it does spark that little bit of like just a little spark of anything in me heart and but at the same time like i love just looking at them and how pretty the pictures are like this sort of create more of like these plants it's not really something i want to do so at the minute anyway so i probably wouldn't do something like that at the moment but you never know in the future but excuse me that is secret garden so there's only two more books we're nearly at the end so next i have the pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures by camilla derrico or derrico derrico this was kindly gifted to me by a lovely subscriber and friend emma And I have not coloured anything in it yet, Emma, but I will. <laughs> it's just, it's very intimidating. But it is very nice at the same time. It's just, like, this one's kind of scary. She, like, reminds us of the ring and she just scares us a little bit. Not gonna lie. But, like, some of the pictures are just stunning, but, like, I just, I don't know where to start. I don't know why these things are in like and I, I tag stuff and then i can't remember why i done it so i should probably write something down on the on the um post-it note when i put it there do you know what i mean so just them so that is pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures and then the last book that I have in my current collection is Romantic Country by Eerie is it? I've wanted this book for ages and I saw it on the book depository when I was ordering the other two books from the money that my sister gave us for my birthday well she gave us it early because I asked her to basically because the books take ages to come and she doesn't really care anyway so these are technically for my birthday but I got them early but I haven't coloured in them yet anyway but I've this has definitely been on me is that the pull out thing I haven't even looked through it properly I think it's the map or something like that because it's like a it's not like a storybook but it's it's like a a country <laughs> obviously it's a romantic country and it's like different drawings of all the places and i'll show you when we get to the front like it is amazing and she says that she drew it i think it's a who she says that she drew it with a toothpick a toothpick like how talented are people in this world absolutely amazing that definitely reminds us a little red riding hood except she's not wearing a cape it has like diff different chapters to be honest i need to investigate more i love that picture it's so adorable so cute this is probably going to be the first one that i color i just absolutely love like i say even if i don't get a color in it like all of it um soon 
I'll still flip through it and look look through it until I can colour as much as I can until I can get up the nerve to colour all of this beauty so like yeah it's got like the whole map of the south kind of reminds us of like Game of Thrones where you've got the north, the south different lands but yeah it's super super like just there's the the Cocot map. It's very interesting, I'll say that. And it gives a little bit of something extra to the colouring book. Sure, some of you will be glad to know that the video is over. If some of you still like listening to us ramble on for a long, long time, then I hope that you enjoyed it. So I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. If anybody wants to request a colouring chat or request a video based on any of these books or if you want to buddy colour with us in any of these books then contact us on instagram my instagram is always a link below in my description box along with a few other links so yeah that's it i know this video has been very long already so i'm just going to say bye